Hi, my name is Teacher Jane. Welcome to my classroom. And this is my teaching assistant, Monkey Mike. Monkey Mike, say hi. Hi, everybody. And Monkey Mike and I are going to talk about bookings. And bookings, of course, are very important. One, because it is boring sitting in your classroom waiting for students to take your class. Now, if you're booked already, that's prep time. But if you are not booked, it's boring. So this is a way to help you get class bookings. Now, I decided after seeing that I had no students, uh, I decided to be very proactive. And I got on the forums at Freshdesk, which I will put your Freshdesk link up here, uh, somewhere up here, watch for that little blurb to go by. I will also put it down here in the comment section uh, so that you can uh, find it and I'll put the actual clickable link if I can. Uh, so what I wanted to do was tell you what I did to help get bookings. Uh, first, I did a new, brand spanking new introduction video. And in my introduction video, I, number one, kept it short. It's 26 seconds long. Number two, I used a frame just like here, except I used the international frame. And I don't know if it will show up just now when I switch frames. So we'll see. I'm going to switch frames for just a second. And this is the frame that I used. Uh, if In case you can't see this frame, it has a smaller area right here where my finger is running. Uh, there is a smaller area visible, uh, which made it nice because the people looking, as you can see, can only see a little of your classroom. Now, since my classroom is a shared use room, uh, this means that down here, all you can see is the edge of my Weeder Ultimate Body Machine. Uh, and you cannot see the fact that I have uh, a cabinet full of stored items over, over off to this side of the room, okay? So it makes a cleaned up image for parents. Um, I also used annotations uh, be, because I don't know how to use cards yet. Uh, I also used Google Translate uh, to make sure that my title and my description would show up in Chinese as well as in English because I want my parents to find my videos. So now let's switch back to Christmas. There. Okay. Hopefully I switched back. Hopefully you could see both uh, frames. The frame I was using for a moment was the international frame. Up in the top right and top left corners of the international frame there are palm trees and down here approximately here uh, is the leaning tower of Pisa and then along the bottom every so often a little guy will ride by on a bicycle it gives some interest to the video so now though I have my gift wrapped box here and I as you can see, I have now 
a daisy chain in the room which I will be hanging ornaments on the corners of here and I also have monkey mic because I will be teaching on Christmas Day uh, so far I have classes on the 23rd tomorrow I have classes on Christmas Day uh, and I have a class on Boxing Day, the day after Christmas, and one class on New Year's Eve. Uh, now, I did not have those classes yesterday. In fact, uh, the, the seventh class showed up just as my three o'clock class was about to start. Uh, and that's the one that is 3 o'clock Arizona time. Now, I believe it's something like 6 p.m. Beijing time. So, uh, I was worried, as I said, and so I did my Christmas video. And I put that on YouTube as... VIP Kid Teacher in Training, Let's Sing a Carol. And I will put that link in the comments below. And you should see a little uh, annotation right about here. And I want to apologize to my mobile users. I know you cannot see the annotations. I have not yet learned how to make cards and end pages or end screens. Uh, I am working on that today. And my next video should have everything available even if you are on a mobile. So I want to talk about making the actual videos. Uh, as I said, my, my revamped teacher video, I used a frame, I made sure that it was interesting, and I kept my video very short. Now, for my uh, teacher in training video, uh, one of the tips that I used was I noticed when I held up my whiteboard, uh, I had written out the lyrics to We Wish You a Merry Christmas, just the first verse. Uh, when I held it up, it was backward. So I erased the board and started over, and I wrote the Christmas carol backward on the whiteboard. And then I held it up, and sure enough, it was going in the right direction. Now, I suppose I could have flipped the classroom video, uh, but then it might have turned confusing uh, because I was pointing here, talking about my place values poster, uh, and I was pointing here to, um, uh, to Arizona because I live in Arizona. Uh, and also I was pointing at my Charlie Brown football and my magnet board. And if I had flipped my classroom, I would be confused trying to point to things that weren't there. Now, um, so give that a try too. Make sure you test your video before you upload it to YouTube. Uh, look at it, watch it all the way through, make sure nobody walked by through your video, make sure your house, uh, your housemates or family uh, did not say something inappropriate while you were taping, uh, and make sure you did not perform any inappropriate thing, such as having a drink, okay? This is tea, by the way. Uh, or uh, eating. Eating is verboten. Uh, and also things like uh, 
saying silly, inappropriate things in your beginning. Uh, going to the bathroom in the middle of your video, you know, not literally in your classroom, but, you know, walking out, walking away from the classroom. So none of those are things you should be doing. Um, and having a, an unprofessional background. Now today I might, since this does show in my YouTube videos, I might put a door cover on that door. Uh, and I saw on Pinterest uh, making a Christmas tree from a sheet. And so I might put the point of the sheet up here where the bow is and drape that. And that should make that more attractive. And I might just keep it that way. Um, I don't want to go any much longer. Uh, this video would be too long. Right now it's 11 minutes. That's half a class just about. So I will say goodbye. And I highly recommend choose a Christmas Carol non-sectarian uh, also, or a Christmas poem, uh, or uh, anything that is going to be interesting that you can read just two lines. Uh, I chose We Wish You a Merry Christmas because there's just the first two lines. Uh, and I did not sing the rest of the carol on the video. I used my small whiteboard. I wrote backward so that it would be forward facing the camera. And I made sure to watch my timing. I used TPR. In fact, I used this star as a pointer slash follow the bouncing star as I read each word of the song, you know, I wish you a Merry Christmas. And that way the students could follow. And if they are younger, they would be able to reach it. So goodbye, see you tomorrow.